Hello. Uh, people in the chat, just let me know if you can hear me. I'll be in attorney. I'll be in the, the commentators chat real quick. Just want to make sure everything's working properly. All right, I'm starting the stage now. Yep. On my end, it looks like it's working, so. Fantastic. Maestro K should be joining me shortly. Yeah, I see him already. You should just be able to hop right on. If not, I'll uh, invite you to speak. There we go. Yeah, because those powers aren't as mine, so I might have to invite him. Hey. It's good for me. Uh, you guys let me know, though. I can hear myself, too. <laughs> oh, well. Hmm. That's bizarre. Let me take a look. That's bizarre. You cannot hear Maestro at all. Okay. Yeah, let me mess with something here. Yeah, try uh, speaking now. Yeah, try uh, speaking now. Okay. Yeah, try, uh, speaking now. yeah, okay. I... Yeah, that's why Oaken was fired up. Of course, there's technical difficulties, but we'll work this out. Uh, try again. Oh yeah, I hear what you mean. That's bizarre. Uh, okay. All right, once more. If this doesn't work out. Hello. Testing, testing. Okay. It's Can anybody up. hear me? It's showing up on my end. Oh, I hear what you mean. That's bizarre. Uh, that should be pretty loud now, according to my what uh, OBS is telling me. So, Osa said he can hear me. Yeah, I'm just gonna check. Um, Chat is a bit delayed. Yeah. He said, "There you go." This doesn't work. Out. Hello. Oh wow. Yeah. You're very loud. That was loud. Yeah. yeah, all right. I'll move my uh, mic away yes. some. <laughs> all right. That was loud. Just so can hear me. But at least we fixed oh, now it now. Yeah, now it's <laughs> now it's too loud. <laughs> Very virile voice. Thanks, Roderick. Yeah. Looks better on so my there you go. This doesn't work out. Hello. Oh, wow. Okay. You're very loud. That was loud. Keep yeah, all right. I'll move my mic away some. <laughs> yeah, sorry. You're probably getting... I'm trying to hear it through the stream. Yeah, okay, fair enough. I think it's all working yeah, fine no. now, as long as... Now it's too I think so, yeah. Yeah. All right. 
Sweet. All right, I didn't even so, know that was a word. Yeah. Every day is a day to learn, Oak. Yeah, so <laughs> welcome to the double elimination tournament. This is similar to traditional elimination tournaments. You just get two chances instead of one. So it should be a blast. Everybody will get at least two fights. So... Just getting the names sorted out. The cool thing is, you could even get two finals, right? If the if two people reach it, and then you know one dude gets eliminated once, the loser of twenty-two yeah. that is, if you were in the winners bracket the whole time and you lost, right? Then you can fight yeah. again in the loser of twenty-two, and still get a shot at winning. So that'll be a blast if we get that to happen. Yeah, everybody's guaranteed two lives. Estimated duration? I'm thinking until three at the latest. It's not that big of a tourney, but the double elimination will make it a bit longer. So I'm gonna I'm gonna say four hours. Yeah. I'm gonna go with a longer estimate. Yeah, I, I, I meant like three mine times, so that's about four hours, yeah. I agree. Oh oh yeah, yeah. That's right, I forgot. Yeah, all good. Alright, let's get started. Oaken and toasted. No idea who's going to win this one. They're both pretty evenly matched, I'd say. Yeah. Um. Is there any chance you can lower my mic just a little bit? Because like right now I'm speaking with no emotion. And oh, yeah. I don't want to be commentating and something crazy happens and then it's just like ear bleeding. I reduced it by about a third. Okay. That should be better. You guys let me know, of course, in the chat. Well, at least everybody's connecting. We're not having issues in that regard. All right. Let's hope I didn't speak too soon. Oh yeah, I should let you in too, Maestro. So go ahead and click oh, yeah. that link. Yep. It's in Attorney Talks, I believe. Yeah, I got it. Alright, perfect. And my apologies to anybody if you happen to hear my children. They're not in, you know, I'm in the basement, so hopefully yeah. that's enough of a sound barrier, but yeah. And uh, Oaken, you're on the left. I gave you a keyboard, so that should be all good. Oh, going with Cogstein. Yeah, this matchup's always interesting. Both using long, heavy blades. Toasted with holy stance gets stabbed a few times, though. Gets a stab of his own. Nice hand snipe by Toasted. Toasted on the offensive a little bit, but I think he's just outside of his effective range. Yeah, they're managing... Ooh. Just as I say that, they're managing distance really well. Yeah. Toasted gets the upper hand there. Well, that was a really good cut, though. Nicely done. Holy stance. Yes, it's only five flags. And there's a stab by Toasted. A lot of point work being done here. He's got this... The, the length of the sword, like, keyed in, essentially. Yeah. 
seems like Oak's kind of not comfortable yet with how to engage on this. Yeah. And I totally understand. Yesterday I was really struggling against uh, Zera, so... And a good arm poke by Oak brings it up to 2-4. Yeah. Some organizers like to do 7 for tourneys too, but... I think 5 is usually the standard. Nicely done by Toasted. Stabbed to the arm. Alright, switch sides. Toasted played with a lot of confidence there too. After he got the first point, you can tell that he he wasn't hesitant. Yeah. He he just needed to key in on his uh on his distance, but he was yeah. he was taking the initiative for pretty much all of that. Yeah. And Oaken by contrast was freezing up a little bit. He did get some good pokes in, but it was just tough to find yeah. a way to safely engage. That's out of range. Yeah. Bit of aggression by Oaken this time, trying to turn things around, but then Toasty just goes for it. I love the holy stance canceling, and then a stab. Yeah, Oak's, Oak's weakness right now is he's just, he can't get in close enough. He's not comfortable with it. Yeah. Toasted with a nice sidestep cut. Brings it up to 3 0. Yeah. He likes rushing in with that upward slash, too. Now, Pekola doesn't usually do that when he rushes, so they have a different style, I would say. Oak. And he at least causes a double. And I did not switch the names, but oh well. You guys know who's who. Ooh. Good punish there by Oak. Gives him a point. Yep. The toaster just... Foot on the gas pedal, but he gets caught there. Gotta be careful. Yeah, Oak kinda sawed into his arm there. How his blade got trapped. Good stab Oak's by Oak. Oak's taking the initiative. Yep. I think he's kinda thinking he's got nothing to lose. And it's paying off. Yeah. Brings it up to 3-4, Oak. Yeah, in a way, there's a bit less pressure because you know you're not going to be eliminated, but at the same time, it's best not to be if you can avoid it yeah. to lose. That was a good double. Still life in your back pocket as long as you can. Yep. Oak seems a bit more comfortable with how to deal with Zero's range. He seems like he's... Uh, He's he's able to keep himself just out of harm's reach up, oh, and he gets poked a little bit. Yeah. Good holy stance. Yeah. Holy stance finishes it. Toasted bread takes it too well. Yeah. I don't think Oaken really had an answer for the holy stance. It's tough to yeah, deal holy... with. Yeah. It's very tough, especially because you can cancel it. So you have to deal with either, you know, trying to stay out of range of the lunge, yeah, or being ready that if you try to close, it's going to get canceled into some kind of retreat cut. Yeah, exactly. My strategy is usually just to not be afraid of it, but sometimes even that's not enough. All right, my store is actually up now against uh, Piper. By the way, you're not talking too much, Maestro. You're you're all good. <laughs> okay. I'm not sure who Anthony Smith is. Uh, Venator said I sound like Anthony Smith. Some guy from UFC, I think. Is that a good voice to sound like, or <laughs> is that a bad voice? I'm guessing a good one. <laughs> <laughs> I hope it's a good one. <laughs> Alright, so I'm up. Yeah. Fighting Piper Drummer. 
Oh yeah, his name is Cephalon now. I forgot about that. <laughs> oh yeah, he's the faded one. Yeah. We're still be, looking for the other two. <laughs> Alright, they're both in. And yet, yeah, Maestro's on the left. Hunt over but alive. Alright, that's good to hear. Heal Choker, good luck when it's your turn. Yeah, that's true. We did practice with him a lot. Koala is not lying about it this time. He did, in fact, practice with us a lot. So, Alright, somebody's having a problem, I think. Something's just backing out. Works. There we go. Okay. I think there was an accidental did he select selection. There? Yeah. Yeah. I'll so let's go back. Yeah. That's all good. Very easy to do if your inputs are delayed. So. And I'm sure his are a bit delayed, just because of the location. Goes of Alexander Meister going with Marie. Probably a very calculated pick there. He's also good with Marie, so it's by no means a bad pick. Ideally, Piper should be really warmed up, though. Piper just going in with a flurry of attacks. He actually lands the stab. No kill. Stab to the leg, though. That's pretty devastating, because Piper needs to close in. Then he gets poked in the arm. Yeah, I'd say Marie has the advantage in this matchup, but if Piper can close, then he can absolutely make this matchup work. Got to find a way to keep that sword at bay. Unfortunately, he whiffs in that attack. That attack whiffs quite a bit. That was a really good head bob, though. Manages to avoid the thrust and get a kill. And they both rush in and stab each other. But Maestro gets the better of that exchange. It's two to one. Oh, Piper backed away. He did the back away swing. I think that was a mistake, though. He wants to... He needs to close in. The more he stays out of his own range and in Maestro's range, the more danger he's going to be in in the long run. Maestro gets that many more chances to land devastating hits. And there's another stab. Even long guard can be iffy against some of those stabs. You gotta position yourself just right. Piper not close enough, I don't think, for that cut. And he was exposed. Maestro's just backing away when he feels Maestro gets... When he feels, sorry, Piper gets too close. And really well done. Perhaps Piper should have used Isabella and not Alexander. I know he struggles in this specific matchup. Alright, I'm just going to change the names real quick so I don't forget. Of course, a reminder, if you do lose, you're not, you're not out yet. Because of the nature of this format. Yep, pretty much. You gotta you got catch the blade, but sometimes it's easier said than done. You gotta close in at some point, too. Sometimes letting your opponent close in can help. If the Marie player gets a bit too aggressive. There's a trade of stabs. Piper going with Isabella. Fortunately, that second cut didn't seem to do anything. Actually, it might have. It might have there, because I see an, a second wound. But anyway, Maestro got a bunch of hits in nonetheless, so... It was a bad situation. Flurry of swings by Piper nets him a point. And so it's 1-1. It's 
funny. In this matchup, I would say Isabella has the edge, but some people think Marie actually either has the edge or can cancel her out. So Certainly in Hema, I think it's an even matchup, but in, in Sharp, I just think Isabella has is a bit more lethal. But it, it depends on the players, too, of course. Meister doing a very good job of staying out of range. Very good stab to the arm. Piper going for a cut. I think he was a bit too far away. Got impaled. 2-2, two, two, though. It's a pretty even fight. Piper trying to choose his moment, I think, but he got stabbed. He wasn't able to long guard in time. And there we go. Maestro getting too close with that rush attack. And he pays for it. That's another way you can defeat Marie, as I was discussing earlier. You gotta be confident in your defense, though, to pull it off. And there's a clean stab by Maestro. Maestro needs one more. Inquartata backs away. Stabs to the arm. No kill, but Piper looks quite tired right now. And yet, that stab finds its mark. Very well played by Maestro. All right, we got Vinnard against Seal Choker now. Oh, what's going on with Roderick? Poor Roderick in the chat. Oh, yeah? Hmm. I think Smith's voice is a bit higher pitched. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, higher pitched than mine. Oh, I thought yeah, you meant high pitched, like, annoying. All right, Seal Choker is here, I know, so we're all good to go. Then and then Seal Choker. Vinod lately has been playing really well. Yeah. Um, the tournament two days ago, he was playing Laszlo really well against Izzy. And then yesterday in his own event, he was really dominant with Izzy. So, yeah, interested to see who picks here. Very good timing with his attacks, very precise. So, I'm sure we'll see more of that. All right, Seal Choker's here. Waiting on Vinard, though. Okay, Vinod seems to be online on Discord, so he's around. And here he is, perfect. And Vinod, you are on the left. Hang on, I see Seal Choker typing. Alright, never mind, we're all good. Koala says Seal's dangerous with Izzy. Dangerous. Yeah, I agree. He's also yep. really good with Marie, too. I caught him in, I think, some USFC event. He was playing Marie, and he played her really well. Yeah. I think he's pretty well rounded. Yeah, he's got a good fight IQ. Koala oh. taking credit for coaching another person again. Yeah. <laughs> now it's Vinard. Yeah, so Vinard made a last second uh, counter pick here, going with Isabella against Marie, which is fair enough. Yeah, we'll see. It'll be nice to compare this to the last, uh, you know, Izzy Marie matchup. Absolutely. See what's different. I think Vinard's going to be really aggressive here. I agree. That tends to be his style. Oh, yeah. Just... Leaving with the Y cuts, dashes Marie's guard and closes it. Yeah. He ended up with a high guard slash, interestingly enough. A bit more oomph to it. So 
Heal Choker showing some aggression, but it doesn't work at all. Nah, sometimes against that long guard, it just feels like a brick wall. Yeah. Yeah, Seal Choker is going to have to maintain distance here and find a way to beat down that long guard. That seems to work pretty well. Vineyard seems to have slowed it down a bit. Yeah. I'm not sure if he's just trying to make sure he doesn't get adapted to or not. Gets poked. Tries going with his normal Y attacks, but gets poked. Seal Choker's liking that uh, high guard there by Marie. That's an interesting pick. I Probably. think he's trying to use that to bash the long guard if he uses it. Yeah. Oh. Then it managed to get a cut in and finish yeah. on the stun. Yeah. He was only nicked a little bit on the way in, so. Now low guard by Seal Choker, but doesn't find the thrust. Then they're just stabbing over and over. And that low guard, too, it got nerfed recently. Um, it used to pretty much all the time land on like someone's toes and yeah. that could be a one hit kill uh nowadays it's pretty much like maybe a 10 percent chance it'll yeah. do that apparently that was like, some kind of bug or something yeah good little cut by marie oh she gets Not blocked enough. on the yeah. dash attack then it takes that 5-0 yeah unfortunately her cuts are very hit and miss when it comes to whether they'll kill or not but if you're lucky they'll kill in one hit yeah. She also has some pretty deceptive reach with them. So yeah. a skilled Marie player can... Uh, I've seen it before where they, they use that to nick the legs and then slow their opponent down. Yeah. You can work against Sabres, we'll see how too. Seal Choker... Yeah. yeah, yeah. Interested to see if Seal Choker adjusts here. Going with Isabella. Okay. And, yep. Izzy Mirror. Piper and Drummer taking some notes, saying, ah, that's how you do it. <laughs> Referring to Marie. <laughs> Fighting Marie. Why? Yeah, apparently it works well, so. I think it just blocks the center line and beats down Longguard. That's yeah. Really good cut by Vinard. Both were doing a long guard standoff, but Venner just punished it. Now Venner's just going on the offensive, and it works out. Gets flicked in the face a little bit, but it's not enough to kill him. Seal Choker tries to thrust, it gets blocked, and Venner closes on him. Finishes yeah. it. Leading with the thrust is a very dangerous game with Izzy. Yeah. If it fails, you're wide open, but if it works, it works really well. Both players having a standoff. Ooh. Oh, that that okay. looked like it hit. <laughs> yeah, it did. Okay. The second one didn't even do a lot of damage, even though it hit, though. Yeah. <laughs> so that was two I failed for us. Vinna got a little lucky there. It looked like her head bobbled. Yeah. And that's a... Oh, no. Seal Choker gets his first point. Yeah. Yeah, first point of the match, I believe. Yeah. Oh, he doesn't get the double. That's unfortunate. Vinard takes it. Not enough power. Yeah, sometimes Vinard's aggression is very hard to find a uh, like a, a time to counter in. Yeah. And he's definitely got practice with Isabella now, so... Yeah. Very good job by Vinard there. <coughs> Alright, we got and Carlos Choker. against Roderick. Says Parsec switched his buttons. Oh, really? Mm. That's weird. Yeah, he mentioned it in the uh, tourney talks. I have the default control, so that shouldn't be an issue with the game. I guess that's Parsec, I don't know. Well, don't forget, you guys are all still in this, in the loser bracket. Absolutely. Time and... to adjust and... And Carlos, you are on the left. Out. Yeah. Carlos and Roderick. You think this is going to be an Izzy... Uh, not Izzy, a Marie Mirror? 
Oh, it could be, if Roderick decides to go down that route. I know he doesn't like fighting rapiers, so that might be a way to deal with it. Yeah. I just feel like every time I've watched Roderick, he picks Marie. Carlos, I think, is still maining Marie. I'm not sure if he tried using Coxton or not. He's been using Count quite a bit, so it's kind of a toss-up, I think. Hmm. Might depend on what his opponent, or who his opponent picks. Okay, Carlos with Marie, and then we're seeing a Gideon from Roderick. Roderick doesn't want to do the rapier mirror match. Very brave pick by Roderick, if I can say so. I think, given how Gedeon's been lately, it's he's had a very poor track record. Yeah, hates rapiers. Well, I should have it enabled, because I uh, reset the defaults again recently, so I haven't messed with anything. There's a stab by Roderick, evening it out. Very good stab by Carlos. Wow, very well done by Roderick. Good hand snipe, good distance management. Problem Roderick has here is he's often pretty much wide open to those stabs. Yeah, and he's got to close that distance. Yeah. With even more. Ooh, tries to push. Whiffs. Yeah. And those blade beats didn't really achieve much except maybe keeping Carlos at bay. Yeah. Yeah, and because of how Gedeon holds his sword, he's got to close even more of a gap. Yeah. This works in Marie's favor. Not Gives seeing... him more margin for error. Yeah. I'm not seeing a lot of long guard from him either. Maybe he's not. he doesn't have faith in it. I don't know. Mm. Oh, there we go. Now he's using it. <laughs> That was interesting. They were both kind of just staring at each other after that. Yeah. Out of grease sets. Yeah. I think he's just trying to beat that blade aside and finish yeah. her with a combo. Yeah, that might be better if Gideon instead of using long guard, but it is a gamble. Right, because all Carlos needs to do is just get one timing and one time thrust. Yeah. Some of the highest Although damage in the game, so. Yeah. Hooks the arm, tries dashing, misses. Ellis finishes it. Yeah. Very good performance by Carlos. Indeed. He never seemed flustered with the uh, the pressure that Rod was trying. All right, names are switched. Switch signs. Same characters, all right. I know Roderick tried using Barabash once to try and overcome Marie. I don't think that worked very well either, so. Hmm. Oh, it cuts out of range, leaves him right open. Oh, his ankle just broke there. Did you see that? No, I missed it. Yeah, Roderick's ankle just broke out of nowhere. <laughs> Faint by Roderick, but I think that just gave Carlos an opportunity to give him a good poke. Wow, nicely done. That's the sidestep A by Carlos. No kill, but it drew plenty of blood. Wow. Oh, okay. that was... Okay, yeah. <laughs> Accidental draw cut or something. Yeah. 
I guess you I did. I think Carlos got kind of lucky there. Yeah, absolutely. Did just enough damage. Right. Yeah. Oh he seems goodness. like he's letting Roderick get a little bit closer than last round. Yeah. Roderick just happens to not be able to finish it, but... Yeah. Yeah, Marie's... Uncomfortable distance if you're a Marie player. Absolutely. Marie's uh, guard is holding up much better than I expected it would. Mm. So Carlos was able to regain his stamina and get another wall push thrust in. Oh, Roderick still can't finish it. I think that thrust hit the back of her neck. Yeah. Well, Carlos is completely tired, but Roderick still has not found a way to get yeah. in. Well, now Carlos is recovered. He's given... Yeah, he gave Carlos... I think he gave him a little bit too much time to recover. Yeah. <clears throat> Carlos just needs one more. Wonderful to see him take the aggression here. Take the initiative. Good stab. Roderick's still not out of this. Wait, is there music for you, Subutai? Uh, no, not on my end. I don't have any either. Yeah, I, I don't have any music playing, so... Oh. Uh. Alright, stab there. Carlos takes Yeah, and unfortunately... It. Yeah. Good job by Carlos. Unfortunately for Roderick, Gedeon's just way too exposed. Especially to Marie. We might have been seeing a bit of frustration, too. I saw Roderick was throwing a lot of cuts a bit out of range, really trying to get that kill. Yeah. Oh, I almost gave Roderick, too. <laughs> So now you're up against Toasted. Yeah. Toasted is never an easy opponent, so I better stay focused for this one. When does so Roderick the... will play? I'm sorry? Oh, someone was just asking when the loser bracket plays. Uh, basically, it, the loser bracket is not complete yet, so we got to wait until the somebody loses number eight, so that's in the second round. Yeah, once round two is done, the loser bracket can start. Yeah. So Roderick is going to play the uh, the loser of this next match between Subutai and Toasted. Seal Choker will play whoever loses between me and Exiar. Piper Drummer is going to play either Gedeon or Vinard. And Oakenlix is going to play either Zero Null or Carlos. Yeah, you should still have plenty of time. So XZR, Ilxis, and Zero Null are pretty fortunate because they were not uh, not in round one. They didn't have to risk losing that first life. Yeah, absolutely. And I'm on the left. Yeah, per the bracket, if top is left, yeah. Koala's got some sound advice. If it was me, I simply would have killed Carlos. <laughs> well, and I mean, Pico, once again, proselytizing for Jera. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I can't argue with uh, killing your opponent. Yeah. Okay, Zera. Gonna be quiet for this one. Okay. All right. So, not a surprise to anyone. We got Alex versus Jera. Subtai gets up close, right in Jera's face, and manages to get a flurry on him. Gets the first flag. Some sidestep out of reach. Tries a retreat cut, but Subtai catches him. Thrust whiffs. Another cut by Subutai. Gets him on the chest. Oh, yeah. Oh, and he misses the... Okay. Misses the jump attack, but is able to, to seal the deal after Toasted's winded. 
think he might have got caught in the leg there by Jera. Very good thrust there by Toasted. Gets him his first flag. Sidestep. Both get hit. Jera's got a nasty freaking scar on his face. Oh, and he manages to get a... I think that might have been a retreat cut after a thrust. Catches Alex as he was in a jump attack. And a good thrust there. Gets him right in the face. Zubatai is struggling to get up close. Toasted's got a very good tempo down with using these um, openings that Zubatai's given him. He's up 4-2. Thrust kind of whiffs against Alex's guard, and now he's tired. So Zubatai capitalizes on that. And the suggestion pays off, and Toasted takes the first round. Nicely done. See if uh, Subutai keeps this matchup or switches. Piper Jumma says, "Has Toasted ever fought Piccola?" Uh, yeah, I think they, I think they just fought. Um, either I think they fought yesterday, either that or the day before. I think one of those tourneys. Yeah, they definitely fought before. And so Subutai is keeping his main. Went a bit less aggressively here. Oh, and just as I say that, and they both get a double. Kicked by Jera. Oh, and Subutai is able to punish that with, with the distance that he was right in Jera's face. Zubatai doing a really good job of baiting, closing right as um, Toasted throws a cut out of range. Oh, and a really good hand snipe there by Toasted. It's now 2-1 in Subutai's favor. Subutai with a very fortunate double there. Must have a good un uh, Uta how Thrust by Toasted misses. Subutai punishes. Catches him on the arm. Another thrust misses. Subutai kind of backs off after getting in the pocket. A third thrust. Oh, and this time he's able to get Subutai with a retreat cut. Subutai misses on the punish. I think that was a fourth thrust, maybe fifth. And Subutai that time was ready. 3 1, Subutai. Toasted with a very quick sidestep cut there. Brings it up to 3 2, Subutai. Good retreat cut. Doesn't kill, but it wounds him. I think Toasted's fighting with a little bit of a different style here. He manages to get a double with the uh, sidestep just as Subutai was closing. Another double. Toasted's using that sidestep cut. I think he's just trying to catch Subutai on a whiff. To anticipate it. On the sidestep wounds and he manages to get manages to get the combo off and kill Subutai. So it's now tied 3-3. Three, three. Oh a very good hand um arm snipe there by Toasted. 
brings the score up to his favor, 4-3. And the aggression, and he manages to get the kill. Well played. Using that aggressive uppercut into however it calls his job. And so now Subutai moves to the loser's bracket where he will fight against Roderick. Roderick. Okay. After this round. Yeah, fighting Gideon will be fun, so... Yeah, GG toasted. Played really well. I didn't really have a good way of closing in oftentimes, so... It's here against Maestro Cake. I think it's here is going to show up. He was pretty excited about this, so... Yeah, and I think he he missed USFC yesterday, too. Yeah. So hopefully he's making it a point to be at this. And so he'll be on the left, okay. Yeah. Doesn't seem to be online, at least on Discord, so... Hmm. Yeah, so we'll just wait a little bit, and if he doesn't show up, we'll move on. And then he'll have until the duration of the second round to show up, as stated in the rules. So. Yeah, and so just... Uh, Might as well move on, I think. So, Oxus and Vinod are up next. Yeah. Yeah, by the time this round's over, he'll these round this round is over, he'll have plenty of time to show up, so All right, he'll just invented. And the Ilxus, you're on the left. Well this for XCR stick if uh this round does finish, and he doesn't join. He's got a whole another round to join. Oh yeah. In the losers bracket. Yeah, I guess. I mean, I think at that point I'll just eliminate him, though, honestly. Yeah, just to save time. Yeah. Because in the rules it stated that it's a single round, so mm. I think that's reasonable. Yeah, I agree. All right, Ilxis is in, Vineyard's in, perfect. So Vinod will either use Laszlo or Isabella. Curious which one he'll pick. Against Gideon? Oh, he goes with Laszlo, okay. I was going to say Izzy. Yeah. I think he might prefer Laszlo. Yeah. But he's definitely getting really proficient with both. Yeah, absolutely. Confident in the saber fight against Ilxis, which I respect. And he actually gets the first one. Nicely done. Ilxis, of course, is our first Grand Master besides Warden, so, uh... His skill... It's hard to overstate how skilled he, how skilled he is.
right now has really good timing on these punishes. Yeah. He's letting Vinner expose himself without doing too much. Stab attempt, trying to get the snipe. Catches Vinner as he comes in. That was really well done. He knew when to back away, but he still kept the pressure up, even so. Mm. Ooh. Good snipe attempt, but it didn't quite land. Yeah, Vinner makes good on that thrust and brings the score up 3 2. <laughs> okay, Vinner just. Vinner's swing after swing. <laughs> <laughs> Pays off. We see this style translate to both his characters, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, Gideon is a flimsy guard, so he can't rely so much on fighting him in the exchange. He has to find a way to cut the arm. Mm. Well, I mean, there Ooh. we go. Good cut from distance there by Vinard. Gives him the edge for three. Yeah. Still close, though. By no means over. Yeah. Oaksis has played Gideon more than enough that he knows how to adjust. There's a thrust, but it doesn't kill. There's a double. Punishes, yeah, he punishes Vinod's aggression there, but Laszlo, I noticed, is pretty good at getting double kills. Yeah. He's got pretty good after blow damage. Nice. Oaks just ties it up with a good punish on Vinod's aggression. Yeah. Tied up 4-4. Four, four. At least Elixir can sometimes tank those hits, so. Exchange there, double. It's leg gets uh, Laszlo's knee there. Yeah, making him limp. Vineyard. Ooh. Kept cutting out of range, and that costed him. Thrust there by Oaksis. Yeah, Vinner was trying some defensive swipes because he knew what was coming, I think. Yeah. One of the advantages of getting someone on the leg. You can easily dictate tempo. Oh, yes, I forgot the names. I'll change that right at the beginning. <laughs> and so Vinner switching to his alt, which is Izzy. I think Izzy has a very strong advantage here against uh, Gedeon. And that's not trying to downplay Ilks' skill. It's just, unfortunately, the recent, uh, you know, the recent patch we had in, like, December. Um, I think it just kind of made that exchange a little bit more in Izzy's favor. Yeah, absolutely. Like Ilkis will have to fence really cleanly to win this one. Yeah. But he is capable of it, I think. There we go. Good cut right across the mouth. Ilkis with the first point. Yeah. That's the thing when you fight Ilkis. If you ever make a mistake with against him and you're in range, he'll immediately kill you. Yeah, he's. He's very good on uh, on Gedeon's, like, angles. Gets Izzy on the top of the head there, but it doesn't kill. Yeah, interesting exchange there. Yeah. Both Oaks have is for some reason. Oh! Ooh. Double. And that was really good by Oaks too. It was interesting that he got as gassed as he did, um, even though he first hit Izzy on the face. Yeah. And she didn't seem to get gassed. But a good job there, causing a double. And so Ilksis is doing a great job yeah. right now, countering uh, Vinod's aggression. Yeah. I think Vinod's a bit overconfident in this matchup. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Cut. Cuts out of range. He actually gets that one, though. It looks just for struggling to find a, an answer. 
Yes, you're right. I was starting to type Gideon. <laughs> yeah. Good catch. They're one and the same. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Venator's not the only one who makes that mistake. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Caught right as he was about to punish. And Venator ties it up. Oh. That was a good parry attempt, but the blow just went right through anyway. Yeah. Venator takes the lead 3-2. Venner doing some sidestepping, interestingly enough. Bunch of cuts out of range, but yeah, that punch ensured that he got the kill. He just needs one more. I think we're going to see him go back to being aggressive. Although he's keeping his distance. Very good cut there by Oxus. Yeah. Very well timed. High guard by Maestro. A... By... I almost said Maestro. Wow, <laughs> <bitter. laughs> but uh, that was a got great punished. punished again. Yeah, Oxus really has his his patience is working out for him right now. Yeah, very different fighting styles. Mm. So Oxus just needs one more to win the whole thing. I think that's why Vintage playing a lot more defensively than he's used to. Yeah. It's a fight between a hammer and a scalpel. He'll just being the scalpel. Unfortunately, he gets hit there. That was a good job by Vinard using the, uh, you know, switching it up at the last second. Yeah. So I think this is the first time we had to randomly select who gets the side for the third round. Oh, yeah. I think we're going to see the same uh, matchup. Oh, yeah. So, uh, Vinard wants an odd number, Ilxus wants an even number. Six, that means, uh, Ilxus, you get to pick. You probably want the left side, I assume, but let us know. Yeah, he hears us, perfect. You'll take left, alright, perfect. Just as you predicted, the same matchup. Both trying to get a positional advantage. They just hit each other. Thrust there by Vinard gets the first point. Yeah. He actually went for two there. The first one didn't work, so he stabbed again. Mm. Rushes in, gets cut in the face. Very Oops. good sidestep cut there by Oxus. Yeah. Bleeding a lot, though. As well. <laughs> yeah. He'll manage. Yeah. He's... That's what Gedeon's made to do, is bleed. Good way to lose weight, I suppose. <laughs> <laughs> and a good flourish there, right in Elk, uh, Vinard's face, right in the pocket. Yeah. Pays off for Elksus to one him. Aggression by Vinner yeah, pays off. Was... I see what Ilchus is trying to do in response to those cuts. I just don't think his guard is good enough. 
Yeah. Yeah, he was going for that. Um, oof. And then there brings up the score of 3-2. Yeah, Elksus, he's he's got the right idea with his timings, but he just happens to get blocked a lot, Yeah. fortunately. And that little head cut. Yeah, the punches up close are screwing him over, too. Good punish, mm. though. Tied up 3-all. Aggression there. Doesn't pay off for Vinard. Yeah. Elksus just needs one more now. We might see Vinard turtle up a bit again. So uh, we'll see where this goes. Doing a lot yeah, of he might be heavy. trying to... Yeah, I think Vinard's trying to make uh, Elksus take the initiative here. Yeah. Oh, and he tries... Tries what he did to win the last round and switch up tempo, but Oxus was ready for it. Yeah. Good job by Oxus there. Good fight yeah. by both. Yeah, it was a fun fight to watch. Now we got zero null against Carlos. Did some training with Zero Null really early in the morning, and he was doing really well, so I don't think he's lost his touch at all. Yeah, apparently Carlos is trying to talk to Xir right now, and there's no response, so after this one, I think I'll just disqualify him. Whoever gets matched up against them gets a free win. Oh, I did two zero nulls. <laughs> there we go. Should be zero null on the left, Carlos on the right. Yeah. Nice low against Marie. <clears throat> Nice low also has a bit of a weak guard against Marie, but Zero No knows how to block those thrusts, and he has really fast footwork. Good patience there by Carlos. Yeah, I think this is definitely uh, advantageous for Marie. Ooh. Just as I say that, Zero now shows us why he's feared, meant to be feared with Laszlo. Yeah. I really love how he does aggression. Mm. 2 1 0 now. Yeah. He's absolutely relentless, but he does it in a way where he's still protecting himself most of the time. There he gets stabbed, though. Mm. Yeah, he loves that one two combo to mix it up. And he's also doing a good job of uh pushing Carlos back into a corner. Yeah, two stabs. Punch, but he gets hit a little bit. So Zero now just needs one more here. It's making it very hard for Carlos to find an opening. Sidestep by Carlos, but it doesn't kill. Yeah. Zero Null's doing a better job of landing stabs, too, I think, for the most part. Yeah, he's got a good timing down with them. Yeah. 
Carlos manages to get a double, so he stays alive in this round. The good thing about what Zero's doing with that thrust is it's it's making it very hard for Carlos to punish because of how um, because of Laszlo's posture with it. Yeah, and we saw Carlos there trying to beat the blade, but Laszlo recovered way too fast for that to be of any advantage. Mm. Good first round there by Zero now. But Carlos is really, really good at adapting with Marie. Yeah, absolutely. So we'll see if he sticks with Marie, what he changes up. <clears throat> Oakenlick says that Laszlo's uh, super dangerous for Marie. And that he doesn't think it's a favorable matchup. Mm. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah, Zero is definitely making a case for what you're saying. Carlos switching to Calc. Okay. I had a feeling he would. His sword has a bit more presence. Oh, they're both tired. <laughs> oh my goodness. But Carlos got it. I'm not sure how much uh, Zionos practice against Calc. Yeah, he might not be aware that Calc is way stronger than he used to be. Mm. We might even see him switch to Calc if he ever feels that Laszlo is not enough and he loses. Mm. A good hand snipe there by uh, Zero now. Carlos is up 3-1. Nice. Good uh, push by uh, Zero and all there, getting two cuts. And Zero walks into that. I think that that thrust is very deadly just because it has like a lingering hitbox. Yeah. It's pretty easy to walk into it. I think that's what happened with Zero there. Yeah, especially if the way Lazlo's guard is, it's just so easy to walk into. Yeah. So Zero kind of disembowels Coxine there. That's his third point. Carlos just needs one more. Oh, and a whiff by uh, Laszlo's thrust there. Carlos punishes it and takes it. So now we're tied 1-1. One, one. All right, it's a five. So uh, Carlos, uh, you decide the side. Oh, Vinard just forfeited the second round. That's very unfortunate. Wait. He said he's busy. Oh. Yeah, that sucks. Another person got a free win then. Yeah. Left then. All right. So that means I don't have to change the names. Perfect. So it automatically keeps Piper Drummer in it. Yeah. That's how it goes sometimes, but it's not the first time he's forfeited, so. Mm. But, you know, life sometimes gets in the way, so it is what it is. Nico says you low-key have to treat Coxine like a rapier character. Yeah, I agree. Oh, we're seeing Zera sure. from Zero Null. Yeah, come to think of it, he was using Zera in our spars, so. Mm. Peccolo must be happy to see that. This is a very scary matchup for either character. Yeah, for sure. Zirinol... I think it all depends on confidence. Yeah. Zirinol was again doing a very good job of pushing the advantage. Hmm. Oh my goodness, that was a hideous hit there. And that range is making it hard for Carlos to punish. Yeah. But he lands a nice poke to the shoulder. Yeah. Yeah, in theory, Carlos does have a few attacks that are longer range, but for the most part, Zara is taller, and he's got a bigger sword, so... Mm. Managed to get a point there after Zeronal was backing him into a corner. Yeah. 
was trying to bait out of with. Yeah, I like what Carlos that, is trying that, to do here. Yeah, that reach just really hard to capitalize on. Yeah. Zara has a pretty... Ooh. Another good time to punish there by Carlos. Yeah. It's a 2-1. I think Zero's struggling to get up close. Oh, and just, just as I say that, he lands a pun or a push. I think Zero's got it though. Starts saw bleeding through <laughs> Marie's arm, gets a second point. Yeah. yeah. Carlos is doing a good job, but he's forced to give so much ground. Mm. I'm not sure if Carlos meant to push there, but Zero now takes the advantage. Yeah. 3 2. In fairness, that might have been his only chance there if he could get a grab or a push when you're that close. Mm. On that standing thrust, hits. But Carlos is able to force a double. Hero gets tagged there on his aggression. He's trying to bring out his, his old push strat. Windmill scalps Marie there. Oh, very good retreat cut there after a dash. Nick's Marie. Pekulay says Zara makes rapiers become toothpicks. I mean, I actually can believe that. And sometimes it sure feels that way. Mm. Yeah, Carlos is an uphill battle here trying to deal with yeah. this leech. Zara has a pretty good guard against her, too, I think. Yeah, blocks the center line really well. Nicely done by Carlos, though. He was trying to wait until Zero Null exposed himself. Yeah, that was a very good sidestep. The tough thing here is Zara has better reach, but as we saw there in the pocket, Zara is way better than Marie, so it's a really tough fight for Carlos when it comes to range. <laughs> So Zero Null takes it. Carlos will be fighting in the elimination bracket, loser bracket, against where is it? Against Oakenlix. That'll be a really good matchup. And, it's and I your... don't think we've pulled from XCR. Yeah. Unfortunately. Yeah, so I'm just gonna give you the win then. And now we're on to the loser's bracket, since it's complete now. And I'll immediately give Seal Choker the win, since Zero's not here. Those round three matchups look really good. I'm f I have to fight oh, Toasted, man. and Oaks is just fighting Zero now. Yeah, Those so are going to be really good matches. Yeah, two of the best Sabres, and then we got two of the best Lawn Swords over here, so I like it. And uh, mine's actually first against Roderick, so I'll get him in. It's number nine, so I get the left again. Alright, sent you the link. And the sealed choker seems to be very convinced that I'm going to win this one. He's calling here the maple back. <laughs> yeah, maple back. Love it. I think he called me a maple syrup merchant before. I love that. <laughs> too. <laughs> it's more of an Ontario or Quebec thing, but we love it in Alberta too, for sure. It's 
just we're not in the area where it's made. So we got a Alex versus Gedeon matchup here. Both men in the pocket swinging. And Gedeon's able to take that. Subutai responds in kind and gets his first point. Ooh, Roderick there manages to get a nice cut through Alex's guard. Whiffs under Alex's sword arm and Subutai punishes. Yeah, his hat went Subutai. flying too. <laughs> Subutai kind of just blends him up in the pocket there. Three of one. Combo there by Roderick misses and Subutai punishes. Game point for Subutai. Or match point. Another whiff there by Roderick and Subutai is able to once again punish him. So Subutai takes that with a pretty dominant performance there. We'll see if Roderick keeps playing Gedeon or switches. Unfortunately, I think it, um, you know a big thing that Roderick has to overcome is just Gedeon's short range. Yeah. Even though Alex, no one, no, Alex had the sword reversion changed, but and Roderick sticks with Ilxis. I mean, <laughs> oh my God, <laughs> Roderick sticks with Gedeon. <laughs> yeah. I'm making the mistake too. <laughs> Super tag again, pretty aggressive there. Manages to force a double as his hands cut off with a retreating cut. Okay, I think is Roderick when oh, he's moving. Okay, I think he's all set. Roderick's nose is cut off. Pretty nasty looking wound to not kill. Subutai finishes cutting off his or cutting his sword arm. Yeah, it's a little bit winded. Man just get a cut on Alex there, but it's not enough. Combos, I think he hits Alex a second time, but Subutai gets him. Oh, and yeah, that was basically a death sentence. Subutai's up 2 nothing. Good attack there by uh, Roderick to catch Subutai mid-attack. Mid Tries to hit the arm. I'm not sure exactly how it got blocked, but Subutai punished. Subutai's up 3-1. Roderick tries to thrust, and Subutai is able to block that and punish. So now Subutai just needs one more point to win this match in the round, and he gets it. GG. The good sidestep I cut. Good match by Subutai. And unfortunately, that means Roderick's eliminated from the tourney. But I hope you have time to stick around and and still watch Roderick. Yeah, absolutely. At least he got a Sabre matchup to end it. I think Sabre mirrors are the funnest myself, so I totally understand preferring them. All right, we got, I guess Vinod was eliminated, actually, so, because uh, he forfeited, actually, so. Piper moves on. And then we got Carlos against Oaken. That's going to be a really cool fight. Yeah, that's going to be a really good one. I think we'll I'm see I'm going to step a... away for a sec. No problem. I think we'll see uh, Cal Kamir here.
Vulcan and Carlos are in a hurry to get in, I see. That's excellent. I'm just going to deal with the names. I think Oaken's on the left. Uh, no, actually, Carlos is on the left. My bad. And oh, can you have keyboard? So we should be good to go. Yep, Calc Mirror, as I predicted. So both of these fighters, I would say, are the Calc Masters at the moment. They're both really good with them. Those other people who can play him well, but these two are easily the best, I would say. Carlos had his thrust deflected there and got stabbed a bit, but that was a really nice upward slash. You're going to see a good mix of thrusts and cuts in this matchup. Some people say to use uh, Kalkstein like a rapier, but I think... Uh, you gotta use some of those cuts as well. Both have traded so far. Nobody has a real advantage, I would say. We're seeing the guards catch some of these thrusts too, which is really good to see. Sometimes Kalkstein's guard does not work the way it should. The hand guard, I mean. And that was a really good cut to the head by Carlos. I really like that horizontal slash. Carlos is up 2-0. to zero. Carlos rushes in. I think we saw some whiffs earlier with the stabs of Kalkstein, unfortunately, too. But at least uh, Carlos was able to follow it up from there, so it didn't really matter. I just noticed the tip bounced off. But that was a good kill by uh, Oaken. <laughs> Alright, welcome back. So who's who's got the lead? Carlos oh. does three to one. Oh, okay. Oh, another. Mm. I've noticed the stabs bouncing off in this matchup. <laughs> Funnily enough, it's only been happening to Carlos for the most part, but he's able to recover really fast and get the kill shot. Some physics glitch going on there. But it didn't matter. Oaken landed the stab anyway, so. There's a lot of whips in there. Yeah. How is the YouTube? Just to see if, uh, Oak switches the last one is not facing the lock here. But you see some coffee right there. Mm. You're a bit quiet on my end, by the way. Okay. Uh, is this any better? Yeah, that's better. Alright. So Oak's on the left. Yep. And looks like he's sticking with Cough. Yeah. Okay. Koala bragging the chat about how much he's taught these two. <laughs> Yeah, Koala, are you even in this tourney? I don't think so. <laughs> Alright, Carlos with the first point. Koala, you should show us how, how skilled you are. Teaching everybody. Yeah. 
That was a really cool kill by Carlos, actually. He sort of beat down the thrust and then stabbed immediately. Yeah. Luke whiffs on a thrust, but is able to use that retreat thrust to force a double. Hawk's Retreat Thrust is one of the scariest things to try to contend with. Yeah, for sure. Carlos being patient here, even when he gets blade contact. Yeah, Oak's making it a point not to get too close. Players are doing really well at uh, managing distance. Yeah. Carlos still patient even when his opponent was momentarily tired. But I think that's mm. a good way to play this. Cause you, even, even just one stab can kill you, so... Like that. Yeah, that was a very good well-timed thrust there by Oak. Good stabs by Carlos. It's interesting too, because both players know about these like thrust combos. Yeah, you can tell. <clears throat> and so they know to keep their distance from that. And uh, Carlos gets his third point there. Ooh, combo by Oak doesn't pay off. And yeah. Carlos sneaks a cut in there and yep. gets his fourth flag. So Despite now it's do or die time for Oak. Yeah, he's got to find an answer for Carlos's patient play. Mm. Good stab. Bit of blade contact, but they both stay out of range. Feeling each other out a little. Really wants to land that stab. Yeah. I think he's worried about... Oh. Another dash uh, stab by Carlos, and he takes it. Yeah, really well done. And that means Oaken is eliminated. Yeah. Good fights, though, Oak. Yeah, as absolutely. always. So, my fight against Sealed Choker is actually up next because of the way the bracket works. Mm. And he's on the left. to watch my students fight. <laughs> well, hopefully you can make the next turn, Koala. Be nice to see you. Put your money where your mouth is, essentially. And so we're waiting oh, on... Uh, oh, there's Seal Choker. Got some fighting Still words from Seal Choker. <laughs> puck Licker. <laughs> All right, you're on the left. <laughs> All right, so Super Tide's going with his main. And Seal Choker. Going with Kalkstein, okay. I don't know if I've seen Seal Choker play Kalkstein. Maybe I just forgot. Because I could have sworn he mains or tends to play uh, Marie and Izzy. But Kalk's a very good pick for, for um, Alex as well. We'll see how Seal Choker does. 
So both players kind of just keeping their distance right now. Feeling each other out. Seeing who's going to take the initiative first. Seal Choker whiffs and Subutai instantly pushes in and gets a kill. Subutai is very good at punishing with these whiffs. He's very good at using uh, Alex's pretty quick movement. And he gets his second flag there on another whiff. So Seal Choker's going to have to adjust something here because these attacks on a measure aren't going to work. <clears throat> There's a little bit of a jank moment there, but we've recovered. And a good cut across the face by Seal Choker gets him his first point. Tries that same cut, Subutai blocks it this time and punishes to get his third flag. Tries a thrust, Subutai pushes, gets a cut, but Siochoker is able to. Okay, and Subutai finishes that. Yeah, Siochoker is. He's gonna have to switch something up here because his. Uh... Anytime he whiffs, Subutai is right there in his face almost. Subutai again, pretty aggressive there. They both trade. Some weird block moment, but Subutai takes the, the fifth flag for this round. Yeah, that was unfortunate. And so we'll see if Carlos, I mean not Carlos, if uh, Steel Choker adjusts and takes another character. It might be in his best interest too, because we know that um, that he's played other characters really well. And they don't know, you know, anyone else to switch to, but. Okay, and so Seal Choker is going with. Mar and Subutai with a nasty counter pick there. Okay. <laughs> All right, there. Shield Choker had the right idea. Uh, unfortunately, maybe because of me talking, Subutai was waiting it out. Because this is a pretty good matchup for him. Yeah, and he takes the first flag, blocking a thrust by Seal Choker. Alright. So Seal Choker tries to get a punch, but Izzy's beating him there. Subutai gets his second flag. So Seal Choker a little bit delayed on his punish, and Subutai is able to just close up and exert his dominance there. 3 0. 4 0 from that thrust. Yeah, unfortunately, this, this is a. Uh, you know, Subutai's tended to do just really great against Marie. With, oh, and that weird GG. kind of submissive stance there by Marie just leaves her exposed. And yeah. Subutai capitalized on that. I think it works Very okay against there. Thrust, but against Bennett kind of like that, not at all. Yeah. And unfortunately, Steel Choker, that's going to eliminate you. Yeah, GG. You had the right idea switching to Marie, but unfortunately, I think Subutai just knew that that was inevitable. <laughs> Counterpicking Caribou Hugger. I mean, I had a feeling you were going to pick <laughs> Marie anyway, but or Isabella for that matter. <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> Good effort, though. All right, we got Carlos against Piper. And then we'll be back into the winner's bracket. Yeah, Carlos oh. has some good advice there in the chat, I think. I don't think he was reading it, though. Mm. Yeah, it is possible um, against, you know, uh, I mean, I beat Izzy early in the tourney, but against um, even something like what Subutai was doing, it's possible. It's just very, very, very hard in my experience. Um, 
But yeah, Carlos definitely has some good solid advice there. Yeah. I think the danger is if you sidestep to your right, Isabella has a clean hit with the rush attack because it's coming down from the right. Yeah. It's especially true if you're fighting Marta with Isabella. Like, in Hema especially, because you don't have a chance to reset, you can just spam rush attacks, and if the Marta player is not wised up to it, you can just get free hits all day long. Mm. Alright, both are in. Carlos on the left. I think Piper's going to use Isabella here. Well, he goes with... Uh... Alex there. Oh, wait, who's on the left? Uh, Carlo should be. Oh, okay. Oh, yes, Marie against Alexander. Piper might regret this, but if he can close the distance, mm. it can still work out. Yeah. It's definitely not impossible. Oh, there's a double. Yeah, he did a good job backing Carlos up. I think Carlos, um, based on what we've seen, he tends to seed ground yeah. pretty readily, but not that time. He yeah. gets a really good sidestep in on, on him. Yeah, beautiful in Cortada. That's definitely her best move in the pocket, at least when it comes to thrust. I suck with it. <laughs> yeah. I It always seems to get blocked when I try it. When you get it, though, it's, like, so graceful. Absolutely, yeah. You can even block certain oh. cuts and stuff. So. Yeah. Carlos tries to get a nice light sweep, but misses. Again, gets missed, and Piper does a good job punishing. Yeah. I think the problem here for Piper is he's he's going in long guard, which he should. Oh, and just as I say that, okay. Yeah. Yeah, because he was going in long guard and and trying to be the first one to attack, but that just plays into Marie there. But that yeah. time he does a good job waiting. That time too. Piper's getting an advantage. Oh, triangle. Low thrust there. But Piper pushed when Carlos tried it in Cortada. He is limping, though. He's got to be careful. Oh, Piper. Oh, my oh, goodness. Yeah. <laughs> Luckily for Piper, he had the distance there. Yeah. He had, he had Carlos backed up. Yeah. Carlos is... He needs to get something here now. And he does that yeah. beautiful sidestep in Cortada combo. Yeah. I like what he's going That's for there. That's him one. Yeah. Piper just needs one more. Tried it again. Double launch doesn't kill. Oh, and a good jump attack there by Piper it takes the first round. Piper seemed to adjust there too. He he did a good job of adapting to like not making his cuts uh, wide in the or not wide in the open, but like where Marie can easily hit him. Yeah. He was doing it out of range and hoping that Carlos would try to close or whiff. So a good job there for him to take the first round. Kalkstein, okay. And I gotta switch the names. Yeah, one moment. Alright, go ahead. I'm not sure I agree with Carlos's seems... pick here. Yeah. Yeah, he and he seems to be playing Kalkstein in a similar mm -hmm. manner to how he plays Marie. And he gets a double there. Carlos tends to play, it seems like he's playing pretty defensively most yeah. often. Giving up ground, but trying to get thrusts. Right there, he lands a cut on Alex's left arm, but it doesn't kill. 
Ooh, he barely Probably blocked that somehow. Blocked. Yeah. Yeah. Probably Alex is his guard there. He has that uh, D guard and whatnot, so. Dash attack gets countered, and Carlos gets his first point. Yeah. Piper's again, though, he's doing a good job of maximizing on, um, on Carlos seeding ground to him. He's getting him trapped, but yeah. he's not making the most out of it, I don't yeah. think. Carlos gets his second point. Yeah. His attacks are proving to be more reliable this time. Mm. That might be what he's going for. Good arm cut there. Piper gets his first. I think Piper was trying to block that stab, but he wasn't in long guard. Mm. Carlos gets his third flag there. Whoa. Oh, and a good, very good duck there by Piper. Finishing it with a sidestep combo to get his second flag. That yeah. was really good. Right under that thrust. Yeah, he's very good at landing those. Yeah, he had one of those on me earlier, too. He just ducked under my attack. So he had him there in the corner, but... I think he hesitated a little bit, and that retreat yeah. thrust by Carlos got him his fourth flag. Yeah, probably you should have used long guard and kept pushing. Yeah. Sometimes it can be, um, you know, it can kind of play into your head where you, you see that you have them trapped and you just turn on the aggression, but sometimes that's what the opponent's looking for. Yeah. But we're going to start with Carlos again. He ties this up 1-1. One, one. Okay, Carlos gets the choice. He probably wants the left. Everybody wants the left, so at least pretty much everybody. Mm. Yeah, figured. It's all good. I think some matchups, at least for me, like I prefer being on the right. But it's only for like a select few. Yeah. Oh yeah, but yeah, we we rolled for it anyway, Piper. <laughs> You'd rather go right. Okay, nice. So that works out, I guess, for both players. That's good to see. I think we're gonna see them keep that same matchup. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, that's a very fun matchup. Both use heavy blades and both can hit each other really easily if they play it right, so. Ooh, Two hits. Somehow, no kill on that. Very tired, well, though. Well, but Carlos, and it, yeah, Carlos is wounded and Piper punishes. Another good duck there. Again, trying to exhaust Carlos there. And they trade. That's dangerous for Carlos, though, with his stamina, but he manages to land that stab. Cut right down the middle of the head there. Carlos is able to get his timing right on. So unfortunately, Piper is kind of playing into what Carlos wants here. Yeah. Because he keeps attacking out of space. That was good. Push, Just as I say that, he gets a good cut on the chest. Double. Carlos manages to get a double. Yeah, if I were Piper, I'd be playing a little bit more passively, and I'd try to let Carlos throw a thrust out there so I can catch it. Yeah. But that foot seize there by Piper worked really well. And that retreat thrust by Carlos pays off. Yeah. 
three two in Carlos's favor. Yeah. I think less cutting if I were Piper in Piper's position too, because Calc is really good at blocking the cuts oftentimes. Yeah, mm -hmm. like that. Well, that thrust the cut combo pays off. Ooh, good retreating slash there. And so now Piper's got the advantage. He just needs one more here. Yeah. To win this. Oh, and he gets caught on that duck. Nicely done. They both just need one. Tie game. I think Piper's exposing himself here. I don't know what he's yeah. trying to go for with these attacks. I think he's trying. Oh, he gets lucky there. He gets a second chance after that thrust. Yeah, he wants that kill. That arm saved his life, and he whiffs in the jumping attack. Good job there by Carlos to to seal that. Very intense fight. Yeah, that was a really good one. Okay, and so next we have... Oh, I'm up. Okay, so it's me and Toasted. All right. So the interesting thing here is, uh, I'll be fighting the loser of 16, and uh, Carlos will be fighting the loser of seven, a uh, loser of 15. Sorry. So uh, this is shaping up to be an interesting bracket. I think we got some really heavy hitters here at this point. Yeah, the remaining fighters in this tourney are all really. Uh, scary to deal with. Oh, and so Toasted's on the left. Alright. As long as you can like Yeah. Alright, so predictably they both went with Longsword, Toasted with Zara, Maestro with Isabella. Upward slash by Maestro, man just to catch his arm. That upward slash is, can sometimes protect against downward cuts too, which is really nice. Another upward slash. Gets Maestro two kills right off the bat, and there's a double. Maestro got hit early on from Toasted Bread and Calm Before the Storm Aggression, but it wasn't enough to uh, secure a point. Holy Stands fails. Maestro, however, whiffs on the thrust because of the blade positioning. So Toasted gets his first point. I bet Maestro thought that was going to land. And then there was a good Zwerch How by uh, Toasted Bread. Stabbed by Maestro. Maestro of high guard now, but he backs away seeing the danger. But then he, then he does another high guard cut when uh, Toasted Bread got in range. So that was really good in his part. Still a really even fight, as expected. Iron Gate by Maestro. I see what Maestro's going for, but he gets his arm cut right off. I think Toasted Bread knew what he was going to try, too. Toasted Bread fails to hit with the Holy Stance, and Maestro punishes immediately with the High Guard Slash. Maestro only needs one more. High Guard Cut by Maestro gets hit in the head. Both need one flag for this round.
All right, they're not rushing this, though. They're both staying just out of range. As I say that, though, Maestro going right for the upward slash. That's been working really well against Zara. All right, you're going to change up the names. Oh, I've clicked survival. One moment. <laughs> there we go. Yep, both sticking with longsword. Toasted rushes in, forces the double despite being hit. It doesn't seem like that aggression by Toasted has been going very well so far. Maestro Cake actually getting the better end of that on the retreat. We don't usually see Isabella using a lot of retreating attacks. Isabella mains tend to like to go forward, so that was really well done. Toasted Bread might not have expected that. However, that was a good stab to the shoulder. And wow, that was really nice upward slash by Toasted. Both of these fighters have been making really good use of those cuts. So it's really good to see. And there's a trade. Stab by Toasted Bread. And he forces the double even after that punish. Both fighters keeping the score the same. They see kill shots, and they go for it immediately. Meister Cake playing a very dangerous game against that long reach of Zara's longsword. Nobody gets any hits, though. That was a really good exchange. Oh, again, Maestro of the high guard slash punished the holy stands. I think Pecola stated in his guide that uh, holy stance is a essentially a counter to Isabella's high guard, but as we're seeing here, you can also use the high guard to counter the holy stance. It all seems to depend on the timing and the distance. If they're both in their effective range, I would, I would probably bet on holy stance, but... Meister's doing a really good job of his spacing. Yeah, you can see here, he sees the holy stance, so he doesn't approach. He was right not to. That was a little weird, though. That tip didn't really seem to hit his hand very well, if at all. So, I'm surprised Toasted got it. Probably surprised Maestro, too. But it has a deceptive range all the same, so... It's not uncommon for it to catch you like that, regardless of whether it hits you, at, hits you or not, for real. Exchange, Maestro Cake getting the... I was going to say getting the better end, but we can't underestimate Zara's recovery. Toasted Bread was doing a really good job. He got hit, where, and a lot of people probably give up at that point if you're hit by Isabella, but he still fought on and did that retreating cut. Very good sidestep cut by Toasted Bread. Cloves lining uh, Maestro there. Both going with their high guards. Uh, Toasted actually going back to neutral. And I see what Toasted was going for there. He was trying to use that cut to parry Meister Cake's incoming cut, but he mistimed that, and it allowed Meister Cake to just punish it. That was good aggression with the upward slash, but Maestro forces a double. This is really tense for both fighters, because if Maestro gets one more, he wins the whole match here. That was very well done, using the cut to defeat the thrust, and then hit him again. Of course, though, Toasted Red, you aren't out. You get to fight Carlos. 
after this match here. But now we've got Ilksus against Zero Null. This will be a really interesting fight. Zero and all again. Carlos and I have been having a tough time so far because we lost right at the beginning, but we're clawing our way back gradually. So it'll be interesting yeah. to see who gets to losers round four. Yeah. Oh, zero and all disconnected. I hope I didn't accidentally kick him or something. All right, let's just, yeah, they're back. Perfect. And uh, Ilksus, you're on the left. Let me just sort out the names. Is my mic closed now? Uh, your mic is still a bit quiet, yeah. Alright, uh, one sec. Alright, how's this? Better, yeah. Much better. Alright. So we got Gideon against uh, Laswell. Guaranteed to be a bloodbath, I think. There's the first double right off the bat. You can see a bit of a change in zero no style. He's trying to be more precise, and it pays off here. Yeah, good combo there. Yeah. I think he often likes to move forward and get that quick kill, but he knows against Ilxus, perhaps, those fast cuts are really dangerous, so he wants to stay out of that range if he can and mm. do more precise combos, and it's working out. Ilxus's arm is very exposed here to that, um, whatever that forward attack was. Yeah. In that stance, at least. Yeah. Really good job here with uh, managing this distance. Yeah. Good pressure too while yeah. doing so. Zero, yeah. Just is able to get his first. Good stab, and then another yeah, that, stab. That right foot forward stance is just brutal for Gedeon now. Yeah. On paper, zero and all has an exposed elbow too, but I think his attacks are so fast. And he's really good at managing yeah. distance, so it doesn't really matter. A very dominant first round there for Zero No. Making the most of uh, of that exposed right arm for getting on. Yeah. And unfortunately for you know anyone who plays Gedeon, the problem becomes not just that stance, but then you're almost forced immediately to switch out of that stance, which as we saw, Zero Null was able to land a thrust right during that transition, so... Yeah. You kind of screwed both ways. Absolutely. It's just a lot of openings. Elksis sticking with Gedeon. To be expected. Yeah. yeah in a game of auto, where auto guard is so important, I imagine a lot of, of Gideon mains feel a little helpless in those situations. Mm, yeah. Ilxus did a good job there, sniping that elbow. Yeah. And he tries to get a parry there, but because of how Laszlo's sword was right there, just blocked it. Yeah. <clears throat> Getting that exposed elbow. Oh. Zero is pretty lucky there to get that double. For sure. 
after his cut and thrust swift. Yeah, I thought Elk just had the right idea. Mm, yeah. Good horizontal cut. Double there. But yeah, double. That might be what Elks just needs. He might need to try and snipe that elbow with those horizontal cuts. I think the downward cuts don't work quite as well here. Yeah. And that's our third double in a row. Elk just needs to find a way to set them up, though, and I'm not sure Zero Null will give that opportunity. Yeah, Zero's pretty relentless in its pressure here. Doesn't give you much of a chance to adapt. Yeah. And kind of game plan mid round. Gets his second thrust and doesn't kill Ganyan, but he's tired and yeah. Zero finishes him off. Just picking him apart. And the whiff there by Ilxis causes his death. Yeah. I think he was trying to faint lunging in, but that just sort of left him open. Mm. And that time the lunge pays off. Yeah. It can be a good closing attack, even if it whiffs, but the problem is just because Gedeon himself has low guard. Yeah. And a good one, too, there by Ilxis. Ties it up. Yeah, he's still not out of this yet. Again, hitting the head. Thrust attempt. Zero Null actually backs away, but Ilxis trying to keep up the pressure, and it works. And a good job there by Ilxis not panicking for the kill. Yeah. Yeah, those are very, yeah, very precise swings on his part. Yeah. Tries to oh, and he nice. finds the thrust up with a grapple. And he ties it up 1-1. One, one. Yeah, that's also really... interesting. Yeah, go ahead. Sorry. Oh, I was just saying it's um it's also interesting to note that um right now the sides are uh, 15 wins on the left and 14 on the right, so it's been really even. Yeah, I thought that was a really genius idea to try grappling after it with thrust there. That was probably his only option. Yeah. Oh, another two. Yeah, that was a really good one, especially because of zero null being aggressive, so. You know, Ilks is probably thinking, all right, he's probably not going to back up. Yeah. You know, so he's not going to be able to counter that. Because sometimes people counter grapples just by mistake. Yeah. <clears throat> so, yeah, very good job there by Ilks just to tie it. Maybe right. Okay. Maybe right. <laughs> <laughs> all right. We need a definitive here. <laughs> oh, well. I'll let him have the right side. It means I don't have to change anything. Mm. It's pretty rare for someone to switch off the side that they just won on. It happens, though. But... Yeah. Zero Null just went with Zera there. He really wants the win. Mm. He's going to try to use that range. Yeah. Very tough for Elksis here. Yeah. Zero gets the first point. Probably betting he'll just crash through whatever guard Ilkis can muster. Mm. Seems like maybe he's... Oh, gets a thrust. Follows it up on the neck and it's yeah. no kill. But Ilkis is tired. Oh, oh so close. Ilkis almost lands a thrust. I have a grapple. Cut. Ilkis. Tired oh swing. <laughs> Oh, oh. Elksis finally finishes that. <laughs> Both men hacked to bits. Yeah. Love how he that faced a... down that cut. Yeah. yeah. That was that was very scary. Yeah. <laughs> I think Zero might be trying to... Maybe he's trying to get Elksis to throw a first cut out. Yeah. And catch him, but... Got a double there. Could just imagine Gideon yelling at him to bring it on as he throws that tired yeah. swing. <laughs> yeah. Oh, very good cut there by Oaks. just barely in range. Yeah. His character very pick might have been a mistake. Just yeah. Just the speed difference. 
Oh, and a very, very good time to elbow cut there. Sometimes those whiff, and that's your that's what gets you, but very fortunate there for Oaksis that it hit. And well timed. Nice. And a thrust. really good thrust there. Damn. Right through Shira's guard. Oaksis just needs one more. Yeah. He's getting some initiative. He's just gonna figure something out here. And he tries a sidestep, leaves him wide open, and Oaksis punishes. Yeah, I, I think he hesitated with that combo too, but I don't think it would have made any difference. He was still wide open regardless. Yeah, fortunately, Zero, I think that I understand why you switched characters, but fortunately, it seemed like it worked against you. Yeah, he gets to fight me now, so... <laughs> We'll see how that goes. I know he doesn't like it. Yeah, he has but... another good... I forgot about that. He has another life. Yeah, so he's still in this. That's good. All right, so I'll just take a really quick break, and then we'll move on to the loser's bracket for round three. Okay. Very good fight there from both of you guys. I'm glad I'm I'm glad that you're still in this zero because you're a very good force in these uh in these turnings. All right, hello, I'm back. All right. All right, let's move on. We got toasted bread against Carlos. <laughs> 
faking toasted bread made Carlos want to pee, he said. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I understand. I had a rough time against him, so I can relate. And just so everyone knows, the, as you can see here, the loser of the semifinals actually goes to the loser's round five. So that's where you'll fight it out for your shot. And then if you win there, you can get back into the finals. I think people are still getting back. Oh, Link doesn't work. Yeah, okay. That's probably because it's dead. Kind of hoping Carlos will eliminate toasted bread here. Don't want to fight him again. <laughs> yeah, <clears throat> I'm kind of in the same boat. I don't, <laughs> I don't want to fight toasted again. Yeah, but it's one of those things where it'd be great to see him win too. So. Oh yeah, yeah. We have three people here who are champs and three who aren't. Absolutely. Yeah. So. Three people have a shot to get their first title. And Toasted is on the left. Going to deal with the names. I'd say the length for this tourney has been reasonable so far. Yeah, definitely. Given the, given the structure of it, I'd say so. Yeah. I mean, I and unfortunately, we had, I think, three people who couldn't make it. Yeah. Or maybe just true. two. But. I know we had one way back. There was like 21 or 22 people, but double elimination. And that was ridiculously long, so. We should try to avoid that, I think. Yeah. If we ever do this again. I'm really yeah, enjoying I think it. So. I'm enjoying it a lot, too. I like the structure. But I agree. I think there's, you know, reasonably there should be a cap on, on players. Yeah. So both players right now just kind of testing each other's guard out, it seems. Ooh, toasted Ooh. with a sidestep. Made it seem like he was going to combo. And then catches uh, Carlos there with a retreating cut. Yeah. I think Carlos thought he had an opportunity, but it wasn't mm. true at all. <clears throat> Another retreating slash. Carlos is going to struggle against this range, it seems. Yeah. That's the thing when you're fighting Zara. You almost never know when you know he's completely open unless he's tired. Yeah. Yeah, he's very quick to, to use those um, retreating slashes or just the cancels, too. Yeah. <clears throat> that was interesting. Carlos rushing forward but not throwing any kind of attack. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think Carlos is maybe trying to seed the initiative here. Yeah. And guys uh, toasted to open himself up. Yeah, if he starts using that holy stance, though, it's going to hit like a truck, so I don't know if that'll work. And that thrust there by Carla, or that cut there, just stumps right above Jera's arm. Yeah. So no damage there, <laughs> unfortunately. Tries to punish holy stance, but misses. And Tosu is ready for it. Yeah. And a rushing uh, upper 
caught by Toasted gets his third flag. Yeah, dominant performance so far. Trying to crash through. <laughs> yeah, Carlos, I think he's a little bit hesitant here to punish just because he, I don't know, maybe he's just worried about that guard yeah. blocking him and forcing him to die. Tough thing here Keeping is I don't... Distance. Tough thing here is I don't think he has really a speed advantage here either in any way, despite Zara being mm -hmm. drunk, so... Yeah, so Toasted crashes through with that thrust, gets his fourth. Carlos trying that dash thrust again, but it doesn't hit. Gets his arm cut. Yeah, and you're right, though, because um, unfortunately for Carlos, Jera is able to, you know, just as quickly cut him as, as Carlos is able to react. Yeah. And that thrust gets blocked too. Wow. It's a shame. So Tosa takes that. I think we're going to see Carlos switch it up. Yeah. In fact, I'm having trouble thinking of what advantages Calc really has in that matchup. There aren't very many. Right. Yeah, and Toasted was, um, you know, both of these players actually, now that I think about it, both of them are really good at adapting and adjusting. And so Toasted, normally, he can be really aggressive, but as we saw there, he was playing a bit more uh, patient and he was prudent yeah. with, with when he was attacking. <clears throat> and so... Is that Isabella? Yeah, it is. Or... Okay, interesting. So Marta. Yeah, that's a very interesting pick. Well... All the best to you, Carlos, if you get this. <laughs> I don't have a dog in this fight. Well, I mean, I don't want to fight Toasted, but uh, I'm not sure how I feel about Marta against him. Yeah. I think Marie would have been better. Yeah. Although maybe he's trying to rely on Marta's guard. I'm not sure. Yeah. Oof, big cuts. <laughs> I think Marta's guard has been a bit nerfed, though. I don't think it's as good as it used to be. Yeah. And unfortunately, her damage, I don't think, is still there. Yeah. I mean, maybe Carlos is, is doing this because of the recent updates to, to test her, but I can't see... I don't know if he would, you know, wait for Attorney to try that. And he, oh. he barely gets a double there, so that was fortunate. Yeah. Very good cut by a toasted. Yeah. Has a holy stance bait. Marta there. Yep. Zero's iron skull saves him again. So Toasty gets his third flag. Yeah. Oh, then just pure aggression and it works perfectly. Yeah. I think he kind of knows that she doesn't have the damage right now to yeah. deal with him. That thrust doesn't do enough to kill. And she's even slower than Calc in certain respects, so. It looks like she just fed on someone's blood like a vampire <laughs> with how the blood yeah. is. <laughs> Toasted's aggression pays off again. And yeah. he takes it 5 0. Yeah, Cartlock just didn't have an answer for that. Yeah. And so now, Subtai. You're fighting zero now. And then you get the joy of possibly fighting Toasted if you will. <laughs> yeah. So look forward to that. And zero null gets the left side. As expected, both are going with their mains. I know Laszlo tends to do pretty well in these matchups, and with how aggressive Zero Null is, that's definitely something Subutai's got to look out for. 
<clears throat> but Subutai has his skill going for him, and he's had more practice in. So he gets a good punish there, gets the first flag against uh, Zero now. Ooh. Subutai just walking up and getting a good clean cut in there, but it's not enough to kill. Uh, okay, Lazlo's able to get a double, so that's good. Cause he was a little bit winded there. Another double there. <clears throat> oh, and an <laughs> another double. Oh, I know Zero hates that one. That was a very good, uh, you know, little cut to the hip there. Oh, and he's hesitant. Oh. I don't know if he's lagging or something. He might be. Yeah. <laughs> Carlos just says visual depiction of the fight. Oh, he's got no controls. No control. Jeez. Okay. Uh. Yeah, it's unfortunate that I stabbed you there. So I'll tell you what. Um. We'll keep in mind the score as it is, and probably redo it. If you want. I didn't kill you, yeah. thankfully, but I don't want to... I wouldn't feel great just fighting you while you're damaged, so... Because you had no chance of blocking it. Oh, you want to... Okay. He says it's all good, but... You're not able to move. I think we have to restart anyway, so... We'll just keep in mind yeah. that I have one... One flag. One so. flag, yeah. So I need four. Let's just see if he can select. I hope he can. In spite of that, this tourney's been pretty, uh, you know, free of tech issues. Yeah. It's we just... had the controller thingy in the beginning, but... Very quick to fix, though. And then there's the audio, too, but that, that wasn't too bad. Mm. Just had to do some trial and error. Didn't clear up. Here, I'll kick you out, and then you can try rejoining. I, oh, yeah, I can also reset game pads. I'll do... I guess I could have done that. Oh, well. I'll do that when you get back in. Your internet went out. <laughs> okay, that might explain it. Very unfortunate oh. timing. <laughs> I'm just glad it's not Parsec crapping out or something. Yeah, that'd be such shitty timing. <laughs> God, I love that gif. Saruman just ragdolling Gandalf. <laughs> What's a new link? All right. <laughs> All right, so Subutai's got one flag. <clears throat> so he just needs to get four. All right, everything seems to be good. And we get another double. Probably our fourth. Zero gets caught on that cut and thrust combo, and Subutai is able to make good of that. Gets his second flag. All 
and that's our fifth double. <laughs> I think. Good. Ooh, okay. So a good combo there. Gets blocked, but Zero's able to get the retreating cut right to um, Alex Abkol. Gets his first point. So it's 2 1 Subutai. Both men cut each other across the face. Another double. <clears throat> Zero kind of toned down his aggression, too. Oh, we get another double. These guys are just blenders at this point. Very, oh, okay. Very, very good low attack there. And he's able to kind of just w essentially wiggle that sword through Alex's arm on a retreating cut. So now it's tied up. Zero there with a good punish. Gets him the advantage. 3-2. Very good timing there. I wonder if his like change of pace is catching Subutai off guard, maybe. Retreating cut there. Oh, and it's not enough, and Subutai's able to get it. So now we're tied 3-3. Three, three. And combo whiffs, and Subutai just needs one more point now to win the first round. Oh, Subutai, or er, Zero goes for the hip cut, gets blocked, but a retreating X cut cuts the hand. That was really well timed. Very well done. This this is a really good match. Subutai trying to keep his distance. Very, very close. Oh, oh and another <laughs> double. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> All right. Oh my god. Oh, and Subutai that time with a really well timed punish. And so Subutai takes the first round. GG. That was the first round. Wasn't it? Uh, what'd you say? It kind of cut out. That was the, that was the first round, right? Yeah, first round. All right, that's what I thought. Yeah, cause he was on the left to start, so. All right. I expect them to keep their mains. It was a very tight match. Very good. Yep. I think we had like seven or maybe eight doubles. That was crazy. Yeah. All right. Good patience there by zero. Punishes that one whiff. Uses that Y cut. It's a very good cut against Alex. But Subutai does the same there and ties it up. 1-1. One, one. Oh. Whiff there by zero and Subutai punishes it. Gets a second flag. Goes for the cut and thrust, and he manages to finish that off with a retreating slash to the arm. So now it's tied up. And, oh, okay, so Subutai's attack missed there. That was kind of interesting. So now Laszlo, oh, never mind. <laughs> Subutai ties it up. Yeah, it looked like Subutai might have slapped him with the sword instead of cut. It's interesting. Subutai does a really good job there, catching uh, Zero no off, um, you know, off tempo. Catches him in his rhythm, and Zero just responds in kind. Okay, so it's tied up, and this is for the match, possibly for the whole fight for Subutai. Oh, and oh, and a ball! Oh, wow, <laughs> I think that's a Subutai is very happy he got that double, and I know Zero no is not happy about that. Very good aggression there, but cut and thrust, and he misses, but he's able to get out of the dodge. So, you know, kind of resets. Oh, my goodness. And good he fight. wasn't able to get the double there. Very good fight. Yeah, welcome, Enigma. I see, it's really cool Enigma. to see the algorithms actually recommending this to people. Oh, uh, yeah. And Carlos is talking. Yeah. Yeah, so it's a... <clears throat> It's a physics-based sword fighting game, fencing game. Um, yeah, I don't know how best to describe it. Just 
Carlos is doing a good job. Yeah. There's a link to Greatest the Discord in the description if you want to join us. You don't actually need the game to add, to play PvP with us. You just need either Parsec or Steam. So check us out. Yeah, this might be fight of the tournament. Like that was insane, all those doubles and stuff. Yeah, yeah. And Zero's able to just pick right up where he he left off with uh his skill. It's like no drop off at all. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> All right, yeah, exactly. So, Considering he's been away, that went better than expected, I'd say. Yeah. And so now I'm fighting Toasted Bread. That's the next match. And then Maestro will fight Ilxus. Yeah, you did very well, Hero No. Honestly, if I was just the least bit unlucky at, at certain points, you would have won instead. So we were really even overall. <laughs> Round two, exactly. It's cool how this double elimination format works in that way. Swallow, I guess. <laughs> Gonna take credit for another win, I think. But if I win this, I'm in really good shape, so. That goes for toasted as well. Stakes are really high. Hmm. Toasted, you're on the left. There you go. All right. Stick into their mains. Oh, no, never mind. I missed the character select, so I just assumed. Subutai is going with Izzy here. I think that's a smart choice on his end. Oh, some lag? <laughs> I didn't pause it, so oh, it might have just been a mistake. Oh, and a good A cut by uh, Stubitai punishes a whiff from Toasted. 1 0. Thrust there gets blocked, and Stubitai is able to punish that. Gets a second flag. Toast to changing up his tempo a bit. Super tight with a high guard cut, but it misses. Oh, we got the Subu shuffle going on here. And it, ooh, very good timed uh, hand cut there. And he kind of hits the hand away in midair, too. Very disrespectful. So Toast got his first flag. It's a really well timed cut. And a thrust, and it doesn't get him anything. Subutai is able to take that flag. 3-1. Subutai with the AY combo gets blocked. Oh, I froze up. And Subutai won. Okay. 4-0, <laughs> or 4-1 Subutai. <clears throat> a bit of some rubber banding there. Subutai with that dash B attack. Doesn't get the kill, but he follows it up and takes that first round. Almost going with Samuel. Oh, giving it some thought. Is. I think both are good choices. So. <clears throat> mm. <laughs> he's 
He's really thinking. Yeah. I think he's is he going with Shara? Yeah, I've picked, so I'm at his mercy. <laughs> <laughs> he no, wants you Sava. Can't, you can't pick, uh, <laughs> can't pick Sava. <laughs> if only. Oh, the guy's not there either. <laughs> I like it, really thinking it through before he picks. Yeah, so Samuel's guard's pretty good against Izzy. But you gotta get the right follow-up on that. And so Supertai takes the first flag. Supertai comes in. Pretty aggressive, it seems. I got cut by uh, Toasted Misses. Oh, and a really good feint there. Wow. That was really well done. And he ties it up. Superdad gets a really nice dash cut to get the second flag. His second flag. Toasted playing a bit more defensively here. Kind of works in his favor, though, because of the guard. And he's able to tie it up. Yep. Yeah, his him and uh, Samuel and Jer actually have really good guards against Izzy. Oh, well, some lag, oh. probably. We'll just wait it out. Mm. All right, let me know when you're good. Spam long guard if you're good. Okay. All right, he's good. All right. Subutai doing a really good job with, with uh, map control here, board control. Pushing him into this corner. And he's able to cut off his hand yeah, as he's trying to escape it. Very good job there. So Subutai's up 3-2. Oh, and a miss there by Samuel. Subutai just needs one more flag now. I think we might see Subutai getting pretty aggressive because he's got the flags to spare. Oh, and a really good punish there by uh, by Toasted. Subutai missed on that dash attack. Toasted was ready. Subutai getting aggressive with the footwork, but not with attacks. And he's, yep, really good job there by Subutai. Yeah. Baiting uh, Toasted there. Kind of forced him into a corner. GG. Yeah, Samuel was a good pick. I don't have a lot of experience actually fighting Samuel as Isabella, so that was a cool experience. Yeah. Usually my experience is the other way around, so. So now I'm up against Ilxis, right? Yeah. Isn't that the next match? Okay. I felt like Isabella did better against Zara too. Not because Isabella is like objectively better, but just because she uh, is, a, is better at guarding Zara's swings than Alexander is. And it, I felt like I could make yeah. stuff happen better. Right, and because with Alex, you'd have to really work against, uh, you know, trying to close that reach. Yeah. And with Izzy, you don't. Okay, so I'm on the left here. I'm going to mute myself. Yeah, if I get in the pocket with Alexander, it's fine, but that's the issue, is getting in the pocket in the first place. And whoever loses this one gets to fight me, so at this point, we're very close to the end. Everybody should be in, yep. And my store's on the left, of course. Okay, Marie, that's an interesting pick. I think it's because we've seen Marie do really well against Gideon before. And Meister was obviously very familiar with Marie, so... 
Not only has he played her a lot, but he's obviously fought his brother a ton, too. That was a good gut stab to start off. Ilksus already, right out the gate, has a stamina and health disadvantage. Gets hit again. It wasn't a very good hit, but these all had add up for sure. That was a hit to the face. I think Ilksus is tired there, yeah. Got stabbed right in the chest. He couldn't block it. So Maestro is going to want to use his breach here to his advantage, and Ilksus is going to want to find a way to close in. Yeah, the way Ilx the way yeah, I almost call Gideon Ilxus, but either way, the way Gideon's long guard tracks those thrusts is sometimes a little bit weird. So that might be why Roderick wasn't very confident in it earlier on. But that was a good kill by Ilxus. Nonetheless, I think he has to use long guard at some point. Like otherwise you just get pin cushioned. Yeah, again, a series of stabs by Maestro. Getting a clean kill. Yeah, I'm not sure I like how that long guard works, but the alternative is just getting stabbed, so use what you got. Oh, Ilch is throwing a bunch of cuts. Maestro isn't... Oh, yeah, she gets a stab there. Slight hit. Both hit each other. And actually, Ilxus came off worse from that. And he gets stabbed again, but he's fine still. And he cuts his arm. Well, he's not really fine, but alive still. <laughs> yeah. And a good upward slash. Ilxus is closing the gap. He's not out of this yet. Probably not a fan of this matchup. Oh, that was nicely done. Another grapple by Ilxus. He's been really good at landing those grapples. And in fact, the only one really to land grapples so far, as far as I can tell. And that was really well timed, because Meister had no chance to back away while in the middle of that lunge, and it whiffed. So why not grab the arm? But Meister with a kill there. He only needs one more. Ilxus has to play this really precisely, and they both get a double. A lot of potential for those, because Ilxus wants to close in and get that cut. And that often will mean eating a thrust or two to ensure that you get that lethal hit. There's a stab. Ilks is already pretty low in stamina. Gets a good thrust, though. Follows it up. Ilks is very good at that. Very good at following up his attacks with other attacks that will secure the kill if the first one didn't. Thrust by Ilxus. But he's wide open, and he almost hits uh, Maestro in turn, but wasn't quick enough. Maestro switching to Isabella. Probably thinks he'll have an easier time here. While he did win with Marie, it was not an easy victory by any means. So, And here he's still got a reach advantage, but he's got, I think, more options. But Ilxus has shown that he has done well in this matchup before, so, and that it's possible, so... I really wouldn't count him out yet. He got hit with that upward slash. Those upward cuts of Isabella are actually really powerful. A lot of people who don't main her don't really talk about them, but you saw against uh, Toasted Bread that I made really good use of them as well. 
probably helps that Zara is taller too, so those rising cuts sort of give you a protective shell as you land a cut to the arm or whatever your target is. Wow, crazy exchange there. Ilk's just having his blade beat to shit. And even so, he defended himself pretty well up until that point. And they both end up with a double there. I think Meister wanted to beat that blade down and hit the arm in the same motion. And Ilxus probably saw the danger and threw a cut out there knowing that was his best chance to try and get a mutual hit. High guard slash by Meister. <laughs> then Ilxus pretty much just drops it into Meister's head and neck. Securing the double. Meister rushing in, but Ilxus' guard actually helps him out here. He's able to block it pretty effortlessly, actually. And that kick allowed him to easily kill Maestro in the park in the pocket. All right, Maestro uh, getting a lot of control of the arena, and unfortunately, Elixir was doing a pommel bash there, not a cut, so there was no chance of a double. And a Maestro with a really clean hit to the hand needs one more. Again, Maestro trying to do, push some aggression. Sort of taking a tactic out of my playbook, which is really cool to see. And it's working really well. <laughs> and a back and forth with Isabella works really well, especially if your opponent's a bit, a bit afraid to engage you. All right, so now Ilxis will be fighting Subutai. <clears throat> oh, did my mic screw up again, Subutai? Uh, briefly. It, it sounds fine now. It's not, like, staticky or whatever? Yeah, it's fine now. All right. I'll just deal with the names. Ilxis stay in. And actually, Ilxis gets the left side. Yeah, the stakes are very high here. Yeah. All right. We'll see a classic Gedeon Alex matchup. We will. This is a very close matchup too. I think uh, if we look at the record, I feel like it would be pretty even. Um, I know I've seen each player get the better. So that is a really good punish there. He follows it up with another sidestep wide cut and gets the first flag. It looks this one a lot of cuts out of measure. I wonder if he's just trying to catch Subutai or not. Very good side, um, side cut there. Oh, tries to thrust to follow it up and Subutai blocks it. Punishes. Subutai's up too well. Subutai with a bunch of cuts to the arm there. Gets his third flag. Oaks is going to need to change something right now. And he does. He gets a really good sidestep cut on Subutai's open side. And gets his uh, first flag. Oh, well, Ilks just tried to get a good... Um, I think he tried to counter and get a side cut to that arm, but Subutai was ready. So Subutai just needs one more, and he gets it. So Sub Subutai takes the first round, 5-1. Pretty dominant round for him. Well, I mean, score-wise, yeah, it's really dominant. <laughs> Ilxis, I think, is going to have to change something up in uh, his approach here, because Subutai is really good at being patient when he needs to be. You know, we got a lot of vets who are really good at just changing their style to, uh, you know, from aggression to patience. And Subutai is definitely one of them. <clears throat> so we'll see how Ilxis responds here. I 
side cut by Ilksis misses. It goes right under um, Alex's arm, and he gets blocked on his little head chop, too. And so Subutai takes the first flag. Unfortunately, even though Gideon's really quick with those side cuts, um, a lot of times they can just whiff because of how high Alex's arm is. You know, it's, it's both the the neat thing about this being a physics-based game, but also it can suck because, you know, you could have your timing right and just not get anything. So Sumitai's... Ooh, wow. It just barely gets, like, his knuckle there to take the second flag. Showing really good board control, too. Keeping uh, Ilxis on the back foot. Ilxis takes a step forward, and Subutai catches him right in the um, crease of the elbow there. To get the third flag. The so Oaks is what? trying to leave with the thrust. Some weird jank that? there. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay, so <laughs> activating his force powers to get his first flag. <laughs> Doing some teleports. Well, there's a good strategy. Make me laugh. <laughs> <laughs> and so, oh, and he, he manages to get... Um, Subutai's rib with that, and he, oh, and he gets the arm too. So it whiffed right under his his sword arm, but it managed to catch the rib. He's, pretty, I think, pretty fortunate to get that because normally it would just whiff. He happened to be close enough. So it's three two in favor of Subutai. Oh, and a really really good timed hand cut there by uh, Ilxis ties it up. That was a really well placed cut there. Subutai getting a little bit more defensive, I think. Not pushing as much. Ilks is still kind of giving him that ground, though. Back against the fence. Oh, and he tries to leave with that head cut. He manages to block the follow-up by Subutai. Both players kind of reset here. And Subutai is able to catch him mid-attack and gets the fourth point. So Subutai just needs one more here. Oaks is keeping his distance. Oh, Subutai catches him. Yep, and follows up on the stun to finish him off. Good fight by both. Yeah, good second round. <laughs> and so Trying. now I'm fighting Subutai in the final. Yeah. Ilchis was trying to I use have... some of those holy powers there. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. So I have... Uh, I still have my life, and my second life in my back pocket. So that's uh, fortunate for me. Yeah. Not going to get a whole lot of commentary. Know, a lot, a lot. Yeah, no. <laughs> I'm going to mute my mic. Yeah, I will too. Anyway, Maestro gets the left side. I'll just deal with the names really quick. And yeah, this is going to be a banger for sure.
Wow, that was a crazy one there. <laughs> yeah, that was the new one you killed. I think. Yeah. Yeah, I apologize if anyone's chatting, by the way. I'm not even looking at the chat right now. I'm just so focused. Anyway, I'm going to mute again. I think I got lucky in some of those doubles. That was so close. Yeah. So now, which side are you? Uh, I'll, uh, I'll see. I got to submit it first. I'm, yeah, on the left. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's. I think how it works is whoever wins gets the top spot. Yeah. Yeah, so we just keep it as it is.
Okay, nicely done. Yeah, those. <laughs> dude, there's so many doubles there. I was. GG, GG. That was crazy. Yeah. I thought I You're had you there, but that was anybody. <laughs> I know. That was crazy. Oh my gosh. <sighs> what a final. Oh, whoops. I... All right, I guess we can end it here then. Yeah, good tourney. Uh, I can't see what the score was, but um, look at that. We ended pretty much right at, at four hours, or three hours, actually. Three hours, yeah. Uh, yes, Toasted, it's right. more than two if the loser bracket finalist wins the first one, the first final. Yeah, so got that still have that extra life. I was fortunate to keep fighting. 
but uh, yeah. Well, thanks for uh, having me to comment, co-commentate. Yeah, no and, problem. Uh, it was tons of fun. Yeah, really good. Really good team. So, yeah. All right. Let's head out. Yeah, I'll definitely be doing more of this too. That was just a an absolute blast from the perspective of someone who makes it to the finals, especially after losing once. Mm. Absolutely tons of fights. Uh, I think uh, Venator is going to host another 2v2 this Friday. He hasn't really confirmed, but he said it's possible if people want it. Beyond that, obviously, there's going to be the USFC on Saturday. And, yeah, Sunday's kind of up in the air. I might host something again, so... Keep an eye out for that, and uh, have a good one, folks.